Hello, Kaylin Reinhardt here. Um, here to talk about week three um, and assignment um, one um, for journal entry <clears throat> number one. Um, and to start off, um, basically, I'm going to go by uh, at least each um, question um, and kind of my reflection of um, me playing um, my video games and playing um, on the time that I have. So, um, number one, um, what did I learn through the podcast? Um, and so basically, what I learned, I love, I love this esport ed um, podcast, and, and basically the, um, the the knowledge that I got from it, at least the information that was presented um, through the three ladies, Karen uh, Ruglis, uh, Ashley Jones, and Dana uh, Houston. Um, these three ladies, uh, man, they, they have so much just passion and knowledge and, and it's truly, um, you can see everything and everything that they enjoy, um, through esports come out of them through this, um, through this podcast. And so <clears throat> basic stuff that I've learned, um, you know, starting off with the podcast, um, the host asked, um, I think his name is Josh. Uh, he asked that, um, you know, kind of how they got started with esports um, and kind of where they where their avenues um, started. So basically, um, Ashley, I wrote down some I just wrote down Ashley Jones. Um, she started off with, um, you know, her cousins. And um, that was kind of like the, the theme with all three of the ladies there uh, with um, uh, just the family um, growing up that. You know their their family had consoles of of some of variations, um, and that's how they got started. Their brothers, cousins, um, and so that's kind of how it started. But Ashley Jones, she basically started out um, with her cousins, um, and um, she basically said that um, her her at least her parents would never get her the new at least console or, or gaming um device um that she would always get it passed down from her cousins and so that's kind of how she got um, introduced into you know her um her way of esports so and then karen R ruglis uh her brothers as well i like i like what she said when it when she she mentioned um it being an outlet uh, of entertainment and i love that because uh you know so many so many outlets for sports um have a basically aspect of entertainment and esports is falling right into that and that's awesome i think that's awesome and and the <clears throat> the the avenue that people can have um and it being available on a, on a certain level is is pretty amazing especially being in the collegiate level going into you know professionals making a lot of money um and then dana finishing out she she kind of started hers with uh college um at um and and having her experience through the college um and then so basically going through there then um just the impact um of kind of how you know or what esports means to them and their programs at their schools and the biggest thing i i took was from the enrollment um and and being that they do have this you know new program um it, it boosts the enrollment um also the gaming design program um I heard Dana kind of talk about that, which um, helps esports and that program um, boost all of that together, which is amazing. So that was really cool. Um, and I think lastly, just recognizing that it's a varsity sport um, and at universities, uh, adding that amenity, you know, just not only boosts the enrollment, but boosts the um, you know, the, the rec, the, you know, all of kind of intramural type stuff as well for their universities and for smaller universities, especially helping at least, you know, build and, and grow that, you know, their program. Um, uh, for the um, last kind of point that I wanted to make um, with at least the podcast, that was kind of like my biggest takeaway uh, was when, you know, the host asked kind of them being women in a so, so say male dominated sport <clears throat> and basically 
um, at the beginning of esports and kind of how it started it being a male more dominant um, industry where now you know you're seeing you know everyone do it you know you're, you're seeing women um, you're seeing all race you know all genders it's it's pretty awesome so um, I, li- I love the word word that he said trailblazers um, you know kind of being those three women being the trailblazers of esport mm-hmm. and kind of um, you know adding you know their kind of um, spunk and their you know their flavor to it and not being afraid either um, and it's kind of cool because like usually like I played I played football in college and you know I mean like certain sports um, you know nowadays are kind of getting lessened but are you know male more dominant sports and at our male sports um, but there's no there's no shortcut into esports where there's a equal level playing ground you know you, there's not where there's a you know a weight class limit um, height class limit there, there's not that at all it's just either you you know you you it's how you play and I think I remember um, Karen talking about that where it's just it's it's it comes down to how good of a player that you are and that has nothing to do with height weight and your ability of, of physical strength either so I love that aspect and, and kind of bringing that was kind of new to me it was just like not really thinking of it in that way it was just like man like like this is an equal playing ground and I love that because you know it gives people that extra satisfaction of, of I can do this you know it's not just a male sport um, or industry um, so kind of wrapping up that um, the last section of the podcast at least was interesting where the lightning round he kind of asked some more personal questions which I, I love and, and trying to get more personal that's that's amazing especially with you know him I guess maybe not meeting them, um, but that was that was really cool as well. Seeing at least their opinion on um, you know some of their personal growths, um, their challenges, um, some of the things that they've learned throughout starting their program at their school. Um, those were really interesting and, and cool to understand and learn. Um, and I think the last section was uh, that I thought was really interesting was the groundwork of growth. And I think that's amazing because, uh, you know, we all have challenges in, in each you know segment or at least part of our life. But if we're if we're wanting to start something in a program like eSport, it the way it is, um, the groundwork is full of just growth and the growth is, you know, expendable.